So there, we're going to take a look at a couple of Italian pens. Um, actually, it's the same basic pen, but it's two different colorways with it. And what we're looking at is the Leonardo Furore. And there we are. And this one is aqua, water. And the other one we're going to be looking at is zen, or zen zero. So, Senzero means ginger, and it is a sort of ginger colour. But I've got to say the conjunction of Zen and Zero, in a word, is very interesting for those who's ever dabbled even so slightly in Eastern mysticism and Zen Buddhism. But there we go. Um, but enough of that. I'd better start looking at the pen and telling you what I think about it. I'm not going to be doing a writing test in on this this video um, and that's because they're basically Jovo nibs they're very good I can tell you now they will write excellently but let's have a look and see how they are right then now the first thing I'm sure you've noticed is the absolutely beautiful boxes um, a work of art in themselves and I think that looks to me like a sort of Laurentian pattern I don't know really I'm talking nonsense here. In fact, they must be tiles, I suppose. There we go. Anyway, very beautiful and a great advantage in looking at the pens. So here we are, never knownly under wraps. So we get another little box in here that says Leonardo. And then we open that. Oh, there's so many pens, it looks to be a bit like past the parcel, doesn't it? There we are. There we are. And now finally, oh, wrong way around. Oh, and that's upside down, but never mind. We get the Furore, and they will tell us a little bit about it. Furore means fury, actually, in Italian. But I have a feeling It actually refers to a place and possibly even a beach. There we go. I wonder if that's it. There we go. Where the waves come in and create great fury. There we go. Anyway, it's a nice little booklet. So there we are. But what we're really interested in, I suppose, is the pen. And this is the Zenzero. And you'll see it has rose gold appointments. This one has rose gold appointments, which we felt went rather well with the reddy browny colours of the pen. So here we go. Now it's got a little tassel there, so we're going to take that off. And we'll start looking at the features of the pen. So, as you can see, it's sort of an agiverish shape, isn't it? With rounded ends. Has a nice clip with a turning wheel to protect your shirt or jacket or whatever it is you're clipping the pen into. As we undo it, we see the nib. There we go. What have we got here? Probably a medium, isn't it? I think. Can't actually see. You can probably see better than me. There we go, it's fine. Anyway, so there we are. Um, it's sort of a cartridge converter. So we unscrew here. And we find this very smart converter. And there is a bit of a trick with this. Because if we take what is often the blind cap off, we see we can actually use this as a captured converter, which is quite fun. I suppose it makes filling that tiny bit quicker and cooler and possibly tidier. I don't know really. Um, right, but anyway. That's nice, that's nice. And here we have the grip. There's the very slightest of flares at the bottom here, as you can see. 
and it's quite a nice, it is actually a very comfortable writing position. There we are. And we can take a moment to enjoy the depth of the material, which is a very fine colour. There we are. So, um, a very nicely finished pen, a nice shape, um, good materials, writes beautifully and sells, in my view, for a very reasonable price. We're going to have a look now at the other Furore. So this is the Aqua. A lot of Leonardo's names relate to the places around them and of course they have the enormous good fortune to be based very close to the Amalfi Coast. So not only can they pop down there at the weekends, they've got a wealth of beautiful places to name pens after. Here we are. So here we have oh, crinkle, crinkle. Mm. There we go. Lovely noises. But equally a lovely pen. Now, this one is with rhodium trim. You can see the colours. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a winner, isn't it? They come in quite a range of nibs, so extra fine up to stip, stub, with most stops in between. The nibs, as I said earlier, are Jovo, which is why I'm not going to do a writing test, because to be quite honest, a lot of people use Jovo nibs and they are excellent. And again, just to remind you, cartridge converter pen, here we are, with the option using it as a sort of captured, it's sort of a captured converter pen, but it's, the converter isn't actually captured because you can get in there when you want to clean it. So I suspect you're getting the best of both worlds. And this is true um, with the Memento Zero as well. Um, exactly the same system is used. And in my view, it's a good one. As I say, very nicely finished, good nibs, fantastic resins. There's not very much not to like about this, I must admit. So, the Leonardo Ferrore. Nicely packed, nicely made, nicely designed. In fact, a very nice pen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and you may even consider subscribing to our channel Thank you very much indeed.